Hello guys, my name is Harry Angel, Angel Luck and today we are joined by a very special guest. We are joined by... Wilson! And, that, and today guys, we're finally doing a Friday video. And this week's video is our... Predictions for the first, uh, for the 22-23 Premier season. Part... This is part one of two. We're going to do two, we're going to be... This is our first one. Um, on like week five, and then we're going to do one at I believe some point in December. We're going to change it about, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. to where the team currently are. And now we, are, I'm going, to, we're going to start with his top four, and then he can do. We're going to go down to the relegation zone, and then I will also be doing my ultimate times. Right now, it's over to Wilson for him to announce who's top. Uh, got Liverpool in second. I said there's only other team that can finish there. Um, and then Tottenham have had a little bit of Conte manager. They've got brilliant players. Uh, so they'll be third. And then Arsenal are going to get top four for the season. I think Liverpool um, basically last season and that they have just won against Bournemouth 9-0. I think that was a massive step up from them not doing too well. So I think they keep doing that yeah, same effort. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's gonna be Yeah, it's gonna be a good season. Yeah. Um, and then Chelsea are gonna be in third. Um, Chelsea have been very good this season. Um, and then Man City are gonna be in fourth. Um, and then Man City are gonna be in fourth. 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 Man City are Third, which I completely regret putting, is Chelsea. My, Chelsea, really? I think I, my original thought for putting them um, in the like in the top four because they end up usually getting there. But at this moment in time, I think they're going to be like eleventh or something. I think they might not make it. And of course, I'm putting Arsenal as I am a massive fan of, of the team, and I think they will, considering they're winning. Four games in a row, they will keep at it, and they can even, I think, might have a chance to get number one if they keep going this way. Yeah. Right, who okay. is your fifth and sixth? Let us hear. Right, so fifth and sixth, I've gone for Man United in fifth. I think they'll, they'll just miss out on top four, even though they'll have a good season. Uh, and then I think Chelsea are going to have a massive fall off in sixth because they are losing a lot of the moment and they just don't think they have to have a good season. Well, I actually agree with you with Manchester United. Fair enough. I put them as as fifth. Yeah, they they will get fifth, but I put Tottenham as sixth. Which, really? Yeah. Only because they they kind of got. Yeah. They kind of. Yeah, but if you remember their game with Chelsea. Chelsea, that draw, I was, yeah. that that for me was that level where I think it could be a step different. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah, and then that red card as well. Oh, yeah. That, that was quite quality entertainment, it was. Right. The reason I put Chelsea in sixth is because it's got massive, like, two defeats against the Southampton. Mm. Um, I just don't think they have that quality in, in, in striking. I just don't think they have that quality going off film. Yeah. Um, but I just don't think they're going to have a, I think they're going to fall off this season. So, yeah. True. That's true. That's true. Uh, who is your 7th? And... Um, I think this is quite a West Ham United. I actually agree with you. That's who I put as well. Conference League again this season. Mm. Um, they're finishing around there. They finished in conference positions last season. Mm -hmm. um, Yeah, I think they're going to have another um, OK season, make it to the Europa Conference League. Yeah, I just don't think they have that extra step in the top six yet. I think they're still very good. They've actually um, made a bit of a bad start to the season now, but they've got plenty of space. Yeah. Um, a massive win against Villa, which is a massive win against Villa away as well. Villa, that was fantastic. Very recently. Yeah. OK. At the end of the season, of course, it's going to last time we've said. Yeah. Right, and now let's move on to our 8th, 9th and 10th positions. Alright, in 8th, my 
that's the price you've got all the money to have and how well played how, how played well they have been. So um recently. I'm gonna go with Newcastle. Wow. I th I think it's gonna be Villa because they tend to have a right. have a shaky bit part of the season. I know, I know they just lost to bottom of the league West Ham. But don't forget we are don't forget they the Hmm, yeah, but okay, what about ninth? Who we put for ninth? Right, ninth have got the brighter, my god, their manager is good, very popped off. I mean, what they're just looking so good. Like Brighton, we can push in for like top nine, top eight, like club now. I think. Really well. I think Brighton are going to finish quite high this season. So yeah, that's who I put for ninth as well. Really? I honestly think they're going to. They've got a great manager. They've got. They've been practicing again. Great preseason, and I'm just shocked that they beat Man United. I mean, even though I'm an Arsenal fan, I still think United should have won against that. Them and. Yeah, they actually got battered last season. Well, okay. Yeah. And who, reckon, who do you reckon is... Mm. Yeah. Uh, tenth. Who have you put? Really? Yeah. Okay. Have you got any thoughts? I'm just going to say that I think they finished again mid-table. I think last season they finished about 11th, so I think they're going to be slightly better, but... Mm. I just don't see them getting into the top eight or anything like that. No. I, I think it's Brentford for me. I, I mean, after they smashed, they smashed United 4-0. And they've had some great games. I think if they keep going like this, they could stay for another year in the Premier League. And they've got Arsenal yeah. coming up very, very shortly. Can't wait to see that. Right, let's move on to 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th and 15th. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I just think they'll finish at the end of Okay, and I put Leicester for eleventh. Really? I think they could I know, I know they're bottom, but don't like like what I said for Villa, they could have a bounce yeah, back I up. Yeah. Um, a loss at Chelsea and a loss at um, whoever they Southampton at home. I was like, yeah, and they got um like. Yeah, and they got a decent manager, Patrick Vieira, um, and I think yeah, I think they've got a solid team. Okay. Um, and they've got a decent manager. Right. What about twelfth? Now this is really interesting for me. What I put. Oh, I think for Leicester for this one. Okay. Thoughts. So just like you went for eleventh. I, I, I'm really embarrassed for what I'm about to say, but I'm at Bournemouth. I don't know where I went wrong with my predictions, but I put Bournemouth for, for 12, but I think they're going down to the relegation thing. I have, I put... I, I... They got... I regret putting them bottom. I mean, just you wait, guys, for the um, December um, prediction video. I will change Bournemouth yeah, position completely. I know, I'm going to see a few changes on my end. Right, who did you pick for? What about 13th? Uh, 13th, I went for Wolves. Okay, I, okay, I put um, Southampton 13th. Oh, well, yeah. They're doing all right here, but... Okay, what about 14th? Right, I've gone for Southampton. Oh. They're looking forward to decent early, even though just coming off a um, defeat against Man United. Um, yeah. I think they, they, they should have scored in that game because they had loads of chances. Mm -hmm. uh, they created a lot of chances in games and things like that. And um, yeah, they just beat Chelsea, didn't they, last night? Yeah. Time, so. Yeah, I think, they're, I think they're an all right team, but I mean, I don't know what happened to them. They're getting this hard way to predict, really. Well, I put Newcastle for 14th. Oh, no, I've got Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I think they might... They've got... Yeah, they've got... They, they are milking the Premier League this year. Right, and who do you put for 15th? 16th, No, 15th. 15th. I said 15th. I think 15th. I think 15th. 
Well, 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 I said 15th. Yeah, 15th. Forest are going to be 15th. Yeah. Right. I don't think. So. I put Brentford last season. They had Brentford as well. Yeah. Yeah, but I put Wolves for fifteenth. Really? I think they might have a big struggle like after Christmas. Sort of point, point, point. Yeah, they all got a four point. Yeah, right. Who did you put for sixteenth and seventeenth? Oh, right. Excuse me. All right. So by the way. They, uh, this is pre-recorded, by the way, guys. Uh, anyway, who do you put for 16th and 17th? For well, 16th. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, 16th on the I think second, second uh, season syndrome. I think they won't do very well this season. I know, I know, I know you're thinking they've had a really good start, beating United 4-0 and everything like that. But yeah, that was fantastic. That, that was a I good game. Right, I bet Crystal Palace for 16th. I think they're going to be really unlucky. I don't. I I don't think they're going to be really close out. Now 17th, who have you put? Yeah. Mitrovic is back. Hmm. Yeah, I can agree with you on, uh, I can see for them possibly surviving. Um, but I put Leeds, but I think they're, they're going. I don't think we'll be seeing Leeds in the championship, but my original thought... So Leeds are 18th? No, I put them originally 17th, but I think my boss and three complete. One of them completely right, but the other two I completely messed oh, up. Yeah. Right, now let's hear your relegation thoughts. Right, the, so the bottom three. Yeah. We'll just do one team at a time, make it a bit more interesting. Alright, yeah. So I've gone for Leeds. 18th. I put Nottingham. Yeah, I just don't see them against all the other teams doing like runners. Mm. I put Nottingham. I put Leeds. Yeah. Yeah. Just doing it again. I put I put Nottingham Forest uh, for 18th. I think true, but I think they will struggle like after Christmas. That's a point again. Yeah, second half of the season is gonna be a bit hard. Right now, let's hear your 19th position. All right, this one I think they're actually going to do really bad this season. They've been really bad the last couple of games. They've been really like bad. Last season, the Everton, wow, they are not looking how they used to be. Right. They used to be like eight, nine, but now they're just falling. Hmm. Right, I put um, I put um, Fulham for nineteenth. Oh, okay. Because they tend to always get relegated, but but for this year, this year might be different. I think they might actually stay. And who yeah. who is your twentieth position? Or the start. Oh, I put Everton as last. I completely think they're going. I completely think Everton are gone, and they will not be coming back for next year. They'll get, they'll make it back through the following, like after. But I think they'll have a year out, work on their strengths and weaknesses, and get back to being where they yeah. were in the yeah. OT days. I've got to, I've got to yeah, true. But yeah, but I guess we will see our change um uh, yeah, on December. Mid-season. Yeah, we're going to be doing a mid-season one, and. And everything, and we're going to do a premiere. So next Friday will be um, the Premiership Rug. Sorry, no, next Thursday will be Premiership Rugby predictions. 
where we think each team will make it for the Premiership Rugby. As that, that also has... I... Yeah, it's going to be tough that season. Yeah, I'm going to say the team, like my explanation, because I've been watching them, the Premiership, for a long time now. And... And that is it, guys, for um, the first one of... And then we're also going to do a mid-season one for the rugby as well. At similar yeah, that'll probably be December, that's fine. Yeah, that'll be straight after. That'll be the same date, like, weekend as this as the Premier League one. But anyway, so that is it for today, guys. And may I remind you that on Monday we will be back doing the Liberty Stadium. I will continue that tutorial and I'll continue all the Old Trafford and also tune in for um, tomorrow as I'll be live on one of my Harry AMD like channels doing the Mask Dancer episode 1 pre-show stream in the morning and on Sunday we'll be back covering um, the uh, like a recap of the first episode and we will finally talk about the first contestant getting unmarked and where is he saying you hit my United top anyway so that's it for today guys my be having the luck and we will see you in the next one goodbye guys goodbye goodbye, goodbye.